just thought I would do a, a very short video to talk about the pressure curve uh, setting within Procreate app on the iPad Pro. Um, I've been using the iPad Pro to do drawings and paintings for quite a while now, and I've also done a full rundown of the Procreate app. Uh, and if you want to know more about the overall app, please look in the description and I shall make available a link to the video that I've done explaining all the features. However, one of the features that I didn't really discuss in detail, mainly because it's something I hadn't really delved into and hadn't really explored, was it the uh, pressure curve. So within the pressure curve, you actually have the option, it starts off at a default as a kind of 45 degree angle from left to right. Um, and this is the default setting. So if I show you, for example, I'll just get rid of the marks on the screen. If I show you, for example, I press on very lightly and the very light contact with the screen, I suppose in a way, if you look very closely, you can kind of see something, but you have to kind of increase the pressure quite considerably in order to get a substantial mark. It's only really at this kind of point that it starts to become visible. So I was finding when I was doing a lot of sketching in the same way that I would do a pencil, expecting to find uh, some kind of mark left, that it would take quite a lot of going, either going over the, the area to build it up or pressing on quite hard. So as soon as I became aware of the setting, the, you can actually change the curve you can make it more steep at the beginning. Now, you can put points along the line to change different aspects of it, but the thing I found that makes the biggest difference is the angle at the start of the curve. So if you increase how steeply that curve rises at the beginning, it means when you come to draw, the light marks on the screen instantly make a more substantial mark. Now, it's still possible with a very light touch to make incredibly light marks, but it just doesn't take as much pressure to build the mid-grey tones. It feels much more natural to what I'd expect a real pencil to do. So to restate that, if when you open Procreate, the pencil settings, so if you were using a pencil, for example, I'm using HB Pencil, you can change the extent to which the pressure makes a difference, but the settings are not only controlled within that area. So you need to go within the kind of wrench setting, go down to edit pressure curve, and then you can adjust the curve. Now by making it steeper at the beginning, like this, it means that when you come to draw, a much lighter press on the screen with the pen will result in a, a more visible mark. I found this much better. Uh, I would strongly recommend that to other people. However, obviously it's a matter of personal preference. Other people may prefer to take it the other way. I mean, you could take it so that it takes a lot of pressure at the beginning, in which case, you know, I'm pressing on quite substantially there and getting nothing at all. It's only when I press on really hard. That's definitely not the setting that I would like to use on a regular basis. So I think I'm gonna leave it, my default, to that kind of curve. Much more effective, I think, than the default straight line setting. Okay, I hope that's been useful. If you want to check out more of the features of Procreate, like I said, please look at the description below. I do lots of painting and drawings and expect to see more videos like this as well. Thanks very much.